So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today, I want to share with you something very interesting. I know, you know, uh, people say, oh, you always start off all your talks with this is very interesting, but this is really interesting, okay? It's, a, it's something you can share with your kids, your family, and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this very interesting thing about Surah Al-Fatiha. وَلَقَدْ أَتَيْنَا سَبْعًا مِنَ الْمُذْمَثَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we gave you seven which is often repeated, the translation that's often done is seven most repeated verses. But, methani also means pairing. We gave you seven verses that are paired. Okay, so there's a lot of pairing in Surah Al-Fatiha. A lot of things that interconnect with one another. Like for example, Rahman and Rahim, mercy mentioned twice. For example, Rahman and Rahim, mercy, Maliki Yawmiddin, judgment, right? So you have justice and mercy. Right? That's another pairing. Uh, another pairing is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the people that go astray, Allah mentions them in two groups. غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ Not who have earned your anger. dalin, Nor those who have gone astray. Two. Right? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the people that were on the straight path twice. سِرَاتِ الَّذِينَ عَنَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ Sirat once. And then سِرَاتِ الَّذِينَ عَنَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ سِرَاتِ الَّذِينَ عَنَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ uh, sorry, اِهْدِنَا uh, الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Number one, صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ نَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ Number two. So صِرَاطَ mentioned twice, and then almost as if two group, groups of believers are being mentioned. Like, mentioned in Surah Rahman and Surah uh, Waqiyah. أَسَّابِقُونَ أَسَّابِقُونَ أُولَٰئِكَ الْمُقَرَّبُونَ Those people that went forward, all the way forward, running forward, and those that are of the right hand. Two groups of believers. Right, those that are on istiqamah and those that are following the people Allah has favored, those that are following the people of istiqamah. So you find a lot of pairing in Fatiha. For example, iya kanarbudu wa iya kanistain. Oh Allah, only by from you, only you we are loyal to, and only you we serve, and only from you we ask for help. Iya kanarbudu wa iya kanistain. Then when it came to uh, the fact that Allah does favors upon us, hamd is used by the by by the one who's done you favors. One of the meanings of hamd. Rab also one of the meanings of the word, rab. One of the meanings of the word rab is munaim. One of the five meanings of munaim. The one who's done favors upon you, right? So rab and uh, uh, and uh, rab and uh, hamd are interrelated. Then you know hamd itself. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Hamd. You know, the, uh, the word hamd has the alhamdulillah has the, its pair with subhanallah. This is when you start with salah, you say subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. And then you say alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. So subhanallah, nufsul mizan, the Prophet said, subhanallah is half the weight. Alhamdulillah, tamla'u wa tamla'u ma bayna samawati wal ard. And alhamdulillah completes that weight. Okay? Surah al Fatiha has a lot of pairs. The, the relationship. Right? It can be something that's synonymous, it's repeated twice, or that they're opposites. They're pairs because they're opposites. Right? Oh, I was talking about Surat al Ladina Nam Ta'alim, Ihdina Surat al Mustahim, Surat al Ladina Nam Ta'alim, that's a pair. Then, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, um, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, okay, so let me share this, this one with you. Then, Fatiha also has another pair, which is that there are riwayat that Fatiha was revealed twice, once in Mecca, once in Medina. There are also, uh, Fatiha is read to two different ways, right? Once it's in one way, Imam Shafi's way is to start with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim as part of Fatiha, okay? And the other fuqaha, they read starting from Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And so there's two different ways of reading it. There are, uh, there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's a pairing in the beginning and the end. Uh, you start with A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim. Or Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So there's a starting and then there's Amin at the end. There's a pairing. The answer to Fatiha is Quran. So the pairing of Fatiha is the rest of Quran. This is why. Uh, o Prophet sallallahu we gave you seven ones with pairs. That has pairs in it. Meaning Fatiha. Wal Quran al And the great Quran. Because Quran is the great recitation that's done uh, with the the whole of the Quran, right? Okay, now, uh, there are so many other pairs in Fatiha, but this is what I want to do. I introduced you to some of them, okay? I introduced you to some of the pairs. Uh, but what I want you to do is to dive into Fatiha today and find your own pair 
and share that pair with me in the comment section because there are just so many pairs in it so many pairs you know whether it is alhamdulillah with subhanallah whether it is rabb i didn't talk about this one but this is another easy one rabb with, with ab, the opposite of rabb there is a rabb the owner rabb is in, one of the meanings of the word rabb is owner and the master the rabb he owns uh, the slave right so, uh, so that's another pair. Rabb and Abd relationship. You also find that in the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, in which the Prophet talks about the servant who did tawbah to Allah. is like he, you know, when he loses his camel and then there's this man, he loses his camel, he has no hope. He's given, all, uh, given up all hope and he sits by the tree. His camel's not there. His water is, take, his water is with the camel. Everything's with the camel and can't find his camel. And he has lost all hope and he sits down and then he finds, he looks up and he sees the camel. And then instead of saying, uh, instead of saying, Rabb to Allah, he says, Abd, you know, the, uh, you are my Rabb and I am your Abd. Instead of that, he by mistake says, Allah, you are my Abd and, you know, I'm your Rabb. He says this by mistake, the Prophet said, but that's how much he was like seeing that camel was like, wow, subhanAllah, that's such a big favor from Allah. And these words uh, by mistake come out of his mouth. That's how much Allah is happy when someone does tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the point. Okay, <clears throat> one uh, small point I want to mention, which you will also find interesting and you can also experiment with. Um, and that is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases the mud, like, right? Uh, like this. When Allah increases the mud of something, it is basically like in English or in Urdu or any language, you increase the word to emphasize it. For example, you say you, right? Instead of you, you, right? Uh, and they went astray. Not just that they went astray. They went astray, you know, they went astray, far, far astray. That's the point. It's emphasis. It's for emphasis. It's not just for the artistic purpose. It's there, but it's there to enhance the the, the emphasis of the word. Okay. So, uh, for example, Allah says in Ayatul Kursi, right? Right? So, what Allah desires, this especially comes in Quran with this very big emphasis that it's what Allah wants, right? Anyway, so homework. And to put it into the comment section, look for more pairs in Fatiha. Because I trust you, me, I am telling you, there's an infinite amount of pairs. An infinite amount of pairs within Fatiha. Okay? So please, enjoy the 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 duality. Okay? Iyaka and Iyaka mentioned twice. Right? So there are, there are, there's an infinite amount of dualities. So somebody look at Fatiha from this perspective and in the comment section, share with me what you discover and maybe together we'll discover a whole treasure that we never thought or never knew existed. Okay. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Make sure to subscribe today and make sure you like and make sure you leave your comments and ideas. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi I don't know.